good day in Tuavia. It is a nice, cool, rainy day here in the night in New York. I like it. I'm gonna stay curled up in bed. You wanna stay curled up in bed when it's sunny? I miss it off. What to expect? Actually, I'm like a cat. Yep. Like <laughs> Quiet day today. Just relaxing, watching the Steven Universe. Uh, I had an email the other day saying that all this voice acting news thing that they're doing for the website, uh, that they don't think they're ready for it yet, so they're going to hold that off for a little bit. So, uh, you know, bit of a gutter, but eh. You know, it is what it is, really. Halloween stuff is slowly coming out more and more video games. You want to talk about yours? Oh, Destiny. Oh, well, right. it's not my example even a little bit, but whatever. Well, you like it because I've played I've enjoyed De the video. Yeah, I have played Destiny and I know that you enjoy Destiny more than I do. Okay, is that what you mean by my... Yeah, you also. Whatever. Yours. Anyway, um... Yeah, no, they're doing the Festival of Lost again. Basically, like a Halloween event where you collect masks and stuff like that. A lot of the masks are really neat. I was just personally rather taken by the, uh, the video that they created for it. Because there's this character whose name is Eris Born. <laughs> Her big story is she was like one of the first of the fire team of six to meet Crota yeah. when he surfaced on the moon. And she was the only survivor. They actually, like, removed her eyes. She replaced them with eyes from from the fallen. So, so she's pretty much like super obsessed with that event and with the fallen and Crota and the Taken for that matter. Yeah, um, just uh, just completely immersed in that moment of her life. And, and so, the fact that the festival of the lost is something like an event where people are celebrating death and stuff like that. She's just like super confused by it. And so like over the course of the video is showing off like the really neat different masks and emotes and other things like that. And like interspersed through the footage as air is just like yeah. rumping Grunt. all over the fucking yeah. ball thing. <laughs> it's just sugar will not save you. <laughs> supposed to be a mourn or loss, but everyone is smiling. <laughs> oh, what's the name of the event then? The uh, Festival of the Lost. Uh, happy Festival of the Lost, I suppose. <laughs> it was just... Oh. It was just a very, very cleverly done little video, I thought. I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed the sense of humor. And of oh, course, okay. he hearing Eris Morn get grumpy has always been an entertaining thing. That was actually one of the funnier bits from the Taken King storyline. Yeah. Because you're working with Eris and, in my case, as a hunter, Kate, which I think is probably the coolest NPC in the entire game. Mm -hmm. He's <laughs> it's actually funny because, like, at the beginning of Taken King, like, one of the first cutscenes, like, all the uh, major heads of the city and the final city were discussing how to handle the arrival of the Taken. And then like Eris like threw like because she's always holding this globe. Huh. And she like threw the globe onto the center of the table. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> like and she was being super cryptic about the Taken and how fruitless it is to try to take them on. And then Kay just kinda looked at her and goes, Eris, get your ball off my table. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so, like, most of the storyline of the Taken King had, like, moments where Cain and Harris were just, like, having their shit back and forth at each other. <laughs> oh, God. Like, Cain is just, like, a really kind of generally carefree sort. I mean, he's, he's serious when he has to. He's a very good hunter, but overall he looks at things with a pretty devil may care attitude. So that's a great foil to to Eris's constant, you know, you know, really super dark and cryptic 
message and stuff like that, so I thought it was funny. So I'm hearing her continue to get annoyed at an event that's supposed to be a day of remembrance. It's just the other side of the Like I said, the items that are being offered in the Festival of Lost do look pretty cool. Yeah, they look awesome. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. a couple of interesting little wolf heads, there's a masks of like members of the, of the, of the main story and you know, monsters and like that giant freaking eyeball and pumpkin head. That looks interesting, I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Pretty cool. I, I, I it. it starts on the 25th. Yep. Uh, which is bad timing because that's also the day that we'll call the Final Fantasy will be arriving. Ah. <laughs> No, man, what day we are now? We are on the 22nd right now. Yeah. So it'd be Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. If that's your day off, that's my Friday. That's my day off, it's Friday. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> like how it's you play and I sit there and watch you play these seven seven. Jim, you gotta go with it. Oh. Drag me out by the foot. I'm looking very forward to it. It's cute. There was this video online from a Japanese event I was kind of picking through, and there was, of course, it's in Japanese. That includes all the characters. Yeah. So I'd have to look up a, a, a translation, but but there was what looked like mention of a little anime, and uh, there's also some other additional figures with like the Cactuar uh, oh. train guy. Oh. Magic oh, armor. Stop it, it's so cute. They're super cute. Little Chocobo. I can't wait to see you play it. Chocobo I can't wait, dude. I seriously uh, I can't. Play it. I can't. I, I just... can't play it. I can't. I can't play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. I'm from Connecticut. I moved to the big city. <laughs> right, back from, from work, had a bit of food, well, leftovers and another pot pie, couldn't help it, and just watched uh, the episode The Final Battle on Rebels, and I have to say, this was just a most fantastic little episode. Honestly, I think this kind of tied up uh, one nice story that they had, and I thought, hell yeah, fantastic. Definitely worth watching, so no spoilers there. But uh, apart from that, I'm now watching funny enough, the final video being made on Dude Like Hella. Well, under the name Dude Like Hella with Corey Williams. Because tomorrow he's changing his name and he's beginning a new adventure under a new name. Well, for his channel on YouTube, which you have to find out tomorrow. And here's the thing it's 49 minutes long for starters, so I'm like, what? And second of all, you know, watching the five years of he has done our vlogging, you know, I kind of lost track of it, you know, since he moved to Alaska and, you know, I dipped in and out once in a while, but I didn't actually watch it fully. But, you know, to see this last one or something, oh my god, there's so much that's happened and he's been doing that for five years. And funny enough, you know, because... When people ask me, you know, how did I get into vlogging and stuff, you know, I would say my best friend showed me a video and stuff. This was it. This was Dude Like Hella, uh, Corey Williams, you know, just watching his daily vlogs and stuff and just seeing him do random shit. That put that inspiration in my head to do these vlogs and to continue doing these vlogs for six years running and... Okay, fair enough, I don't get them out properly in time and sometimes I could be a couple of days late. But, uh, you know... It's just with work and stuff, you know, just trying to get everything on. Get out of your way. But uh, no, if it weren't for a dude like Helen and stuff, I would not have been vlogging, and you would not be seeing all this random shit that's been going on. So basically, uh, what I'm saying is thank you very much, Corey Williams, dude like Helen, for being the inspiration of me pointing the camera at my crappy face and to uh, show the world my weirdish life. Cheers mate. <laughs>
Oh, it's been left. And it has been go. Husband, why you leave? <laughs> Husband, come back. Oh, wow, that was a bigger kick there. I like that. I like that my man is flexible. Like a kick that I wore, actually. <laughs> hey. Kind of makes me want to go back to doing stretches. Wow. In university, you know, we had to do these stretches and stuff for just a warm up, and my god, by the end of the year, I could just stretch only just an inch and a half wider than expected. But still, it's an achievement. Right, guys. Ooh, but a bit there. I'm gonna call night and get some sleep as it is late. Had some toast and some water as well. Again, the hiccup, that's great. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And if you have and you like what you saw, then don't forget, as always, to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spank new day. And hopefully you'll be better than the rest. So until then, take care guys. I'll stop. Ooh, it's dark in here.